Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is your host, Latoya Walker, and today I wanted to talk to you guys um, about preparing yourself in patience, and they both go together, they both go together. Okay, I took a flight to North Carolina like around a week ago, I went to Bishop Jake's conference, and it was marvelous, it was really, really great. You guys, if you've never been in one before, I suggest you go to the one next year. Like, you're going to be blessed. You just never know what you're going to get out of it. And I received so much out of it. I received a lot out of it. I received blessings while I was there. When I say God was in the house, he was in the house. Everything was going good. I even decided that I was going to leave and make it to the airport my flight left around 5.30, so I said, I'm going to go to the airport just a little early so um, I can get my flight. You know how when you're on vacation, you get to that last day, and you're ready to go home and get in your bed. So I'm like, okay, let me go to the airport. My, left, my flight left at 5.30. So I'm sitting there at the airport, and I receive a text on my phone, and it said that your flight has been canceled. And when I looked at it, I just was like, oh my goodness, my flight don't been canceled. I didn't get upset. For some reason, I did not get upset. I didn't get mad. And I started looking at other flights. And I'm seeing that there's all these connecting flights. You got to go to Memphis. You got to go here. You got to go there. And I'm like, dang, I don't want to get at home. I don't want to get home at no 10 or 11 o'clock at night because my flight was due to be there at 7. So... I go to the ticket counter and it's long. The line is long. The line is so long because this flight's been canceled. And uh, as a matter of fact, it was two flights that were canceled. So this guy comes from out of nowhere. He works for American Airline and he he says, come here. So I, I walked to where he was and we walked to the end of the airport. We walked to the end of the airport to like the last stand that American Airlines had. And there was no, it, it was it was closed. It was actually closed. So he, he went over there and he started looking for flights for me. And let me tell you guys, that was favor. Because out of all those people, he just asked me, okay, you know, um, come over here. So we, we get over there and he's looking and I can tell by his face, he don't see nothing. I can just look at his face. You know how you can look at somebody's face and tell when something ain't right. And he said, ma'am, um, he said, there's a, another flight that's leaving out at four 30 and it'll make it to Dallas around six, six something. I, I forgot the exact time he said, but there is a standby list and it's like eight people in front of you. I'm like, okay, let me let me let me just test that. And um, I said, um, what's after that if I don't get this? And he said the next flight was like at, I think it was like at seven or eight that night, something like that. So I'm like, oh my goodness. Like it was my daughter's birthday. I like really wanted to get back home so I could set up stuff. So I still didn't get upset. So I went um and sat back in my seat, and there was some a lot of people that were surrounding me. And, they, and um, we started talking about what was going on. And, of course, they were getting on board to the flight that was that was coming up, the, the 430 um, flight. And they just all started saying, you're going to be here to tonight, later on tonight. You'll probably be here to tomorrow. These people, they just started just saying negative stuff. But for some reason, I did not intake nothing that they was telling me. Nothing that they was telling me. People, when somebody tell put their fears on you, you can't. You can't listen to it. You can't accept it. If somebody tell you, well, this happened for me, even them thinking what they thought was going to happen, you can't put it on you. Because sometimes people will tell you, well, um, you know, they'll tell you the, the worst thing. So I'm like, okay, okay. Um, but for some reason, I still did not get mad. But I prepared myself. I said, let me prepare myself. If I do have to stay overnight, see, when we going to where we're going, we got to prepare ourselves. You're not going to go in no desert with just one bottle of water. If you know that you're going um, to a desert, you're going to take a whole lot of water. 
You're going to take everything you need. I started to prepare myself. I started to prepare my mind. You had to prepare your mind, first of all, for anything. I said, okay, I know how it is in this airport. It's a lot of people. It's cold. Um, Let me prepare myself. But whatever happens, I'm prepared for it. Whatever happens, I'm prepared for it. So they started to um, call people for this flight. And this was a huge flight leaving up out of Charlotte. Charlotte, I like, I ain't never, I done been to LAX and I like, it was nothing like how Charlotte airport was. Like, it was crazy there. So they started calling people and I'm looking, I'm like, ooh, this, this ain't looking good. This ain't looking good at all. And the man that was sitting next to me, he said, you ain't gonna make it on this flight. He said, this flight is packed. So, The um, agent got on the speaker and she said, this is a a sold out flight. It's packed. There are no more seats available. I'm thinking, I'm like, oh, he just said it was eight people ahead of me. So they called everybody. Everybody boarded the flight. And I'm looking, I'm like, oh, I I ain't going to get on this flight. So I'm prepared for the next flight. And all of a sudden, I heard her call my name. I said, you got a seat for me? She said, yeah. So I get the ticket. I'm smiling. I'm thinking, I'm like, dang, I'm going to get home before I was originally supposed to get home. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, it may not go how we think it's going to go, but you already got to know that God is an on-time God. He going to get you where you need when you need it. I was not prepared to, to get an earlier flight. Anybody else would have looked and seen that the flight was canceled. They they, 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 they would have lost it. I stayed calm and I stayed relaxed. And I prepared myself. But guess what? I got to my destination when I needed to get there. I got to my des- destination actually um, ahead of time. And I even had, from my um, eyes, I think I had a better flight. I think I had a better flight. I think I had a better seat. We have to be patient. We have to be patient with where we're going. I don't know who needs to hear this, but it 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 when when God get ready to bless us, it don't even look like what we think it's gonna be. You can go a whole nother route. I want a whole nother route. My flight was canceled. And when the guy That had told me, oh, you ain't going to get on board. I passed right by him. And he said, oh, you made it. Don't listen to them voices that are telling you that you ain't going to make it. Don't listen to those voices. Because I got on the same flight he was on. And he probably paid more money. Do not listen to the voice that tell you. Oh, you're not going to make it. Don't listen to that spirit of doubt. Leave fear where it's at. Leave doubt where it's at. Be patient. Be patient when you're going to your destination. Because you don't know when you're going to get there. But what I do know is you're going to get there. And it's going to be on time. Thank you guys for joining me i hope this helps somebody i I really do i hope it helps somebody and i hope that you guys get the picture on how god works have an awesome day love peace and joy bye-bye